Uber Genius that created the Uber Homework app? It certainly is. How are we doing, Uber Brady Brian? Better than our wildest dreams. We've had literally loads of bookings. In fact, the packages will be arriving at your house about now. It's all right, Mum. It's for me. Oh, right. Is everything all right, Henry? Oh, yes, everything's fine. Is Peter all right? He's got a lot of homework this evening. Oh, yeah, he's fine too. I'm going up to give him a hand. Oh, that's sweet. I do like it when the two of you work as a team. Me too. You weren't kidding, were you? There must have been 20 homework books in those parcels. Oh, yes, and there's more to come. What, tonight? Oh, yes, yeah, and we're getting five-star reviews all round. <laughs> yes! Wait, they haven't had any of their homeworks back yet. I know they haven't, but we're running on our reputation, Henry. Cool! See you tomorrow. Everything's still A-OK, Henry. Oh, yes, everything's still uh, A-OK. How are you getting on, Worm? Uh, I mean, how are you getting on, happy homework helper? <laughs> well, I've done these. Just these ones to go. And these. Oh, no, I'll have to do those tomorrow. I think you mean tonight, Peter. <sighs> oh, no. I mean tomorrow. I need my beauty sleep. No, you mean tonight. <gasps> oh, no, I... Oh, I didn't tell you about the deadline, did I? What deadline? The deadline to get the most number of good-as-gold stars. Oh, that one. No, you didn't tell me, Henry. Oh, silly me. Well, there's a deadline. Midnight tonight. Midnight tonight? Yep, midnight tonight. Or else. Or else what, Henry? Or else be prepared to ditch the stars. What's going on? What's not going on, Worm? You're not doing the homework. <gasps> what time is it? Time you got on and did the homework, Worm. Don't call me Worm. <gasps> it's nearly midnight. Yep, still time for you to finish the homework. I... <gasps> Whatever is going on here? Oh, uh, I woke up because Peter's light was still on. Oh, poor Pumpkin. He must have been working late. Uh, yes. What are you doing, Henry? Oh, uh, I thought I'd put them out of the way, so if he wakes up again, he won't be worried about all the homework he hasn't done yet. Sometimes, Henry. Sometimes what, Mum? Sometimes, Henry, you can be so... Yeah, I know. Sometimes I can be so horrid. I was going to say thoughtful. <gasps> what am I going to do now? Oh, it's the middle of the night. I can't call anyone to ask them to help. Oh, we're going to lose our five-star rating. It's all a disaster. <laughs> Fang, I don't suppose you feel like... <laughs> <sighs> There's only one thing for it. for Auntie Annie's homework help elf. It's going to be a long night. The square root of nothing is something. Where do I get my square roots from? Where do they get this stuff? Work and he gets 
gets all the glory. Yes, I do all the work and... It has a certain ring to it. I'm in front of you, not behind you. That's the last of the slime balls. Uh, how many snot bags? Five. We need six. Well, I've only got one left. Up to you. But it won't work with five. All right. Run me through it one more time. Henry. Henry? What is it, Worm? Where are you, Henry? Here. Where? Here. Off the sofa of doom. Oh, can you see me, Henry? Well, of course I can see you, Worm. I can see everything. Everything? Yes, everything. Because I am the Lord High Majesty of the Purple Hand Gang, and... Henry, I think we still need... Shh! Oh, don't be horrid, Henry! What's the problem? Lord High Majesty... Speak, Worm. Permission to ask you to sign this paperwork, Lord High Majesty. Permission granted. Um, permission to ask you again to sign this paperwork, Lord High... Can you just ask me that? Well, uh, yes, Lord High Majesty. Only the second time I said... All right, all right. What is it you want me to sign? This paperwork, Lord High... A sticky spider. That ought to do it. You're right, Ralph. I'll go and get one. You start setting up. Better bring a couple, just in case. I'll just deal with it myself, then, shall I? Yes, Peter. Why don't you do that? And, by the way, thank you for all the work you do on behalf of the Purple Hand Gang. What did you say, Peter? Nothing, Ralph. Nothing important. <laughs> Greetings, Lord High. Oh, what's the point? You coming, Worm? Oh, oh okay. Where? <laughs> fortune favours the brave. What did you say, Henry? I said fortune favours the brave. That's what you always say, isn't it? Yes, that is what I always say. Get back. Yes, sir. That was horrid. Yep, 
and there's more where that came from. I know there is. Would you like me to show you how? What do you think, Slug Snout? You see, that's a perfect example. Oh, yeah? Yeah! If you want to be really horrid, then you've got to learn to sometimes not be horrid. Yeah. You what? Time for the serious stuff. So you feel like being horrid? Horrid's what you want to be! Well, get on with it! Not bossy or mean or moody! Horrid just like me! I know. Aren't you going to ask me what I'm doing now? What are you doing now, bogey brain? I beg your pardon. Sorry. What are you doing now, oh very important director? I am thinking. Thinking about what? 
thinking about what to call my movie. Oh, ha, well, good luck with that then. Uh, it's the first AD's job to come up with a title, is it? Oh, in that case, how about Boy This School? Now, hmm, doesn't have much of a ring about it. How about something a bit more exotic? Oh, I know. Bogius Maximus. It's the school motto. Even I know that's not true, Henry. Try again. All right, then. How about the real school motto? Which is... Absolum Esperanto! I think. Hmm. I like that. I'll have that. Absolum Esperanto! Oh. <laughs> What's that? That is my driver. All very important directors have drivers, don't you know? Oh, Absolum Esperanto! <laughs> at least one famous pupil and many brilliant teachers. What's she doing here? Oh, just keeping an eye on you, Henry, like any good executive producer from a distance. to sell the school. I was thinking more that you would sell the school to pupils who might want to come here. Oh. oh. Tell me, who was responsible for making this video? She was. He was. Well, you're fired. No! So easy being me. I'm See? Peter does look cool. <laughs> Henry, you are not going out this evening. I don't like my hair! <laughs> Stop it, Henry. I think you've upset Peter enough. Come on, Peter. <laughs> oh, OK. Bye. But you can't do this to me! It's, it's like banning Santa Claus from Christmas! Mum and Dad are always complaining that I'm not nice to the worm. But when I try to improve his image, see what happens. <sighs> no Halloween! How unfair is that? Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Great. Everyone else gets treats and they get to play tricks. Tricks? Eureka! That's it! You're allowed to play tricks on Halloween. Mum said Henry couldn't go out, but I'm not Henry anymore. I am the Dark Avenger! <laughs> Henry! Henry, turn the music down! Henry, turn the...
I can't hear the telly. If you want to listen to music, use your headphones. And don't make me come up here again. Yes! See, now he won't come up here unless I make a noise. Operation Halloween is a go! Trick or treat! There you go. A sense humour? Give me a real treat or I'll paint a big X on your door. Will you? Yeah, it was Henry's idea. Naturally. In that case, I think I can find you some treats. Here. You can help yourself. That's more like it. How could he give away my sweets? Susan's costume looks like a Christmas tree, and those heels make her wobble. Let Mrs. Taylor get me some toffees. I don't like toffees. Wanna swap? Oh, what was that? <gasps> Ralph! Is that you? I am the Dark Avenger! <laughs> Avengers Night of Terror has begun! <laughs> a measly box of raisins? I say we toilet paper them. Oh, do you think we should? I don't know. Ah! I am the Dark Avenger! <laughs> That's not a real monster, is it? I don't know. Give me all your treats or you will drown. No way! Get mine! I don't want to drown! Ah! ah a bonus! Henry. No, because it always gets stuck in my teeth. So I reckon a tooth could get stuck in it. Ah, oh, clever. Well, is it working? I can't open my mouth. Help me! What? Oh, help you. Of course. Ah. Aha! Bert, I won't lie to you. That's my toffee. I threw it at you, and I deserve a punch in the mouth. Don't I? I don't know. Well, think about it. Don't you think chucking confectionery at you shows a certain lack of respect? I don't know. Take my word for it, it does. 
And if you were to punch me in the mouth and knock my tooth out, I wouldn't even mind, I swear! I don't know. <gasps> oh! Did that work? No. Brilliant save, though. One tooth! That's all I need! Operation Molar is a go! to my little brother, do I? Hmm, I see. Well, now you'd better get back to your room and back to sleep. Good idea! <laughs> Tooth Fairy, prepare to open your wallet. would know who's just lost a tooth. How? From the gap between their teeth. The gap! Yes, the gap! Gotta go! <laughs> Henry! What a stupid place to sit. <gasps> Henry, if you want to see me, use the front door so I don't have to answer it. This is an emergency. I need your teeth. Huh? Your rubber Dracula teeth from your Halloween costume. Now would be good. Oh, I see. And what are you offering in return? Offering? Do you want any orange? Do I want any orange what? Do you want any orange, m'lady? Yes, thank you, Henry. That would be splendid. And could I have a slice of lemon in it? A slice of lemon? Do you want those teeth or not? <gasps> it's so easy being me. I'm We have come to kidnap you and take you to our planet. Ah! Space aliens! Help! <laughs> it is useless to resist. <laughs> hmm. One more finishing touch. Henry, is it safe to come out? Yeah, we'll chase them away. Hey! Mum hasn't got a moustache. I'm going to tell. You don't have to. Yes, I do. Mum! Mum! Henry's ruined my picture! Silence, worm. Mum! Mum! If you call Mum again, I'll... I'll paint you blue. Give me back my brush! Henry, just look at Peter's face. And my floor. This time you have gone too far, Henry. You stay in here until I say you can come out. But I'm going to miss Mute and Max. This is all the world's fault. It's not fair.
make, the longer you'll stay in your room. But what if I need to go to the toilet? That's the only reason you can leave. Do you understand? <laughs> it's not fair! <laughs> I get sent to my room a lot. I get sent to my room so often I might as well live here full time. Good thing there's lots to do. We've taken all your things away because we want you to think about why you're being punished. Huh? And we'll have a talk about it later. What? They've even taken my CD player. I'm not gonna buy rat CDs. I can't live without my music. Hold on a minute. Yay! Destruction FM! I'm trapped in my room. Oh, Peter's fall. I'm gonna get to stay in his room. Ask your mother. Lock him in a cage for a hundred years. Hang him upside down and stretch his ears. Throw him in the river with the crocodiles. Shoot him into space for a million miles. Now I'm ready to wreak my revenge. Well, as soon as they let me out of my room... Uh-oh. If they see this, I'll be stuck in here forever. Luckily, no one comes in here unless the music's too loud! Hmm. I need help, and fast. Oh, I'm fed up with hide and seek, Margaret. Let's do something else. My garden, my rules, start counting. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, Margaret, that hurt! Oh, what hurt? Whatever you hit me with. Oh, what's this? Here, let me see. Get Ralph Urgent signed Henry. It's so easy being me. I'm Why don't they realise I'm being invaded by germs? <laughs> yeah! It's this or spelling. Oh dear. Henry too. Ooh. Well, I'm off to work before I catch whatever's going round. Bye! Looks like you'll be staying at home after all, Henry. Yes! Result! <laughs> Come on then, back to bed, Henry. If you're sick, you have to lie down. And that means no computer games. Oh, Mum! Playing computer games makes me feel better! If you're well enough to play, you're well enough to go to school. What's the point of being sick if you can't play on the computer? <gasps> Mum, I'm hungry! Mum, I'm thirsty!
feel terrible. <coughs> You'll have to look after yourselves until Dad comes home. Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Can I play on the computer? <coughs> <coughs> oh, all right. But first, can you bring me a glass of orange juice? Oh! If you're not up to it, perhaps you should go back to bed. And bring pieces of ice cream for his throat, please. Oh. Ouch! One for Peter. Two for me. One for... Three for me. I don't want poor Peter to be sick again. This is Miss Oddbod. Is that Henry? Uh, no, th th this is Peter, Henry's snotty-nosed little brother. Oh, right. Well, is your mother there? I need to speak to her about Henry missing his spelling test. No, she's not. Uh, I mean, no, she's out. And uh, by the way, Henry won't be coming back to school ever again. No, really, why? He's got such a high temperature uh, that his brains have melted all over the floor. Sorry, I've got, got to go and clean them up. Bye! Oh! Henry, where's my drink? And where's my ice cream? Oh. When I'm king, only one person at a time will be allowed to be sick. And that will be me! Henry, is that the post? Would you bring it up? Oh, it's just no fun being good. Ah! <laughs> Henry, answer the door, please. Hello, Sonny. Mum or Dad at home? Mum is. But she's sick. Left me to clean up. Ugh. I'll call her if you want. Mum! Oh, no, 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 don't bother her. Uh, just pass on a message. We're making some repairs and we've got to turn the water off for a couple of hours. Stop it, Fluffy. That's Peter's. Ugh. Ugh. We'll let you know when we're finished. Henry! Oh, coming! It's so easy. It's dark in here. Henry, what are you doing? Those are dads. Oh, it's too dark to play golf. Follow me, worm. She wouldn't hear us. Fine. But they haven't built the prison that can hold me. Give me a leg up. What about me? Oh, they'll find you one of these days. Now give me a leg up. No, you might leave me here.
But, but, but I was a cute baby. You were awful, and I did my best to get rid of you. I tried everything. But every time I came up with a great plan, I got into trouble. to you! But, but I had nothing to do with any of that. Of course you did. You were born. That wasn't my fault. Why am I even talking to you? I'm getting out of here. No, Henry, you can't leave me here alone. Yes, I can. I'm tunnelling my way out. Stupid spoon. Right, that's enough. This has got to work. Henry, you can't leave. You're really mean. No, I'm not. I don't like you very much, that's all. That's not true, because you saved me. Saved you? When? When I was little. Henry. Look, you've made Peter cry again. I warned you. No, Mummy. Look, bad doggy. <gasps> oh. You saved me. You're my hero. I never saved you. I got rid of the dog because... because... because he was going to get Mr Kill. I shouted at it to save Mr Kill. Not you. That's not true. You... you saved me. Uh-uh. I wouldn't have cared if that dog had eaten both your legs and your nose. I wouldn't have cared if... Bonnie! Then. Yes! But don't be horrid, Henry. No, Mum, I won't. I'll be really, really horrid. Nick's parents let him get away with anything. Make sure the kiddies are all in bed because it's horror gore and midnight movie time. This is going to be great! Now, Henry, I want you on your best behaviour. I don't want any midnight calls like the last time. Or the time before that. Come and pick up your son! 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 And the time before that. And the time before that. And the time... Hey, Dad, I got the picture. Best behaviour now. I mean it. I don't want Nick's parents phoning me to come and get you. Down, 
<laughs> Don't mind our babies. Mind, Mother. She's just warming up for the monthly opera karaoke. Hi, Henry. Oh, ignore them. They think they're really cool. Your parents are really um loud. Yeah, they call it expressing yourself. I like. I make my own rules. Cool, in it? Cool. You're really lucky. Yeah, except breaking your own rules isn't that much fun. <laughs> Meet my kid sister, Lily. Oh, with you, Henry. <laughs> You're my first sleepover. So, um, what do we do now? Let's raid the kitchen. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> um, where do we start? Where does your mum hide the biscuits? Here, catch. Um, thanks. This isn't exactly like a real raid. Oh. You want me to hide them? Miguelito, give that back! Sorry about that, Henry. Uh, maybe later. Oh. something special in it. Margaret? Oh, uh, football boots, cos I'm really good at football. Very good, Margaret. Um, my biggest encyclopedia. My favourite toy car. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Henry, I'm sure you've forgotten to bring something in, as usual. No, miss. I've brought something. <laughs> Silence! Thank you, Henry. That will do. Uh, now would be good, Henry. Follow me, class. Carries a message to the future. Margaret smells. <laughs> Ow! Quiet, please, class. Let the hole be dug. Inside, everyone, now. Bury it when the rain stops. What is it, Henry? Could I have my pocket money now, Dad? Uh, yes. In a moment. Dad! Oh, what is it now? I can't find Buddy anywhere! <laughs> what have you done now, Henry? Me? Buddy's gone! I'll never see him again! <laughs> Come on, 
Peter. I'm sure he's somewhere. Let's go and look for him. Henry, do you know where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again, then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast. Oops. Better get digging. No! This will take forever. Unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that. Don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich! I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world! I want my own gym. Hey, Bert! Found anything? I don't know. Henry! There's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht, too! It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's get digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. I want bunny back. <laughs> Henry, you have got to find bunny or else. I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules. Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! It's so easy being me! I'm hard, Henry! Henry! Breakfast! <gasps> Henry, want to help me mend this? Um, no. Why am I not surprised? Selfishness must be deplored. Goodness is its own reward. Best boys always pass the test. Best boys better than the rest. B-E-S-T, best boys! Hi, Henry. Do you want to join our club and be a best boy? No way! How long is your stupid meeting going to last? All day. We've got lots of gold stars to give out. I bet you have. <sighs> I need to borrow a suitcase. OK. I'm running away. Hey, wait here. Oh, a map would help too. Grizzly grub box. Dungeon drink kit. Goo shooter. Mr. Kill. Day glow slime. Uh, what else? Ah, comics. Gotta have something to read when I'm not fighting lions. <laughs> Bedtime, Henry! Come on, into bed. What's all this? Um, Ralph lent me some comics. Hmm. Well, don't stay up all night reading. Good night. Go to bed early. Oh. Huh? Daylight? I'm behind schedule.
Turtles, Henry. No, I'm running away. And if you ever, ever tell anyone, you'll be sorry. Understand? So, um, what are you doing? Thanks, Worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. And don't call me Worm. Yeah, it'll probably take me all day. Right. Goodbye forever! And don't touch anything in my room. I've run away from home, if you must know. No, you haven't. I've run away from home. No, I have. Haven't. Have. Haven't. Have. Anyway, this is my treehouse, so go away. I can sit here if I want to. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Ouch! Get off my leg. Shh! They'll find out we're running away. Well, don't think for a minute you're coming with me. You can't come with me either. I'm going to Susan's house. <laughs> Susan's house? That's not running away. It is too. Isn't. Anyway, I slept here all night. Where did you sleep? Hey, that's my running away food. <laughs> not anymore. All right, I'm eating some of your running away food. <laughs> no toothbrush, no clothes, no food. Nothing but toys. <laughs> 